Oh, fancy meeting you guys here. Hey, my name is Tracy with Farm Alarm. Um, we are setting in our school bus conversion, our schoolie, and we're getting it ready. Um, today is Monday, um, the 30th of April. And uh, that means tomorrow is the first, and this weekend is the Baker Creek uh, Spring Seed Planting Festival. So we are planning on going to that. We really want to take the school bus down. Uh, so we're busting our butts on getting this thing going. Um, there's just a few odd and end things that we got to do. Um, you know, I buttoned up uh, a few things here and I'll show you. But first I wanted to show you the couch that I reupholstered. This was actually a, uh, a futon that somebody gave us out of an RV. So it's a, an actual RV futon. The material on it was all just junk. And so Ashley and I had went to uh, Joanne's Fabrics and um, we, we got some fabric and we reupholstered it. Just kind of covered it, you know. And... Uh, it turned out pretty good, I think. And we've got these pillows at Walmart and Ashley says they are horrible, they do not match. I think they match, you guys can let us know down in the comments. Um, as you see up here, we have this little uh, uh, indirect lighting. Um, as as another commenter said that it was actually a dust and bug collector, so I'm Well, let's sure. check it out. <laughs> no. No bugs yet. Nope. Probably some dust. We do live on a farm. We've officially named our bus. We will let you know at the end of this video what that is. But uh, let's give you a tour real quick because um, it's been a little bit since we've given you a tour. So we deleted the original bus door. Let me come up here. Deleted the original bus door. Um, we're we're going to have a full build video. Um, it would mainly be pictures, some some short video clips um, that I've taken over the year because it the years because it's taken like since we bought this bus in 2013 and it's changed what it was going to uh, be used for three different times now but anyway we uh, deleted that door and filled in the wheel well we added two seats up here and the reason why we kind of did that was so um, the, the original purpose of this bus was going to be to have it um, or the second purpose of this bus was going to be to have a camper now we're planning the third uh, purpose of it is we're going to live in it for probably a year but anyway um, you can see that we have two seats up here they're pretty comfortable they're out of a Chevrolet Silverado and uh, they're fully adjustable I really like that and you see a lot of schoolie conversions with a secondary passenger seat but it's it's right here it's behind the uh, the stairwell and I really just wanted it to be you know just like a truck just like um, you know a van or, or an RV where you have two chairs right up front um, and of course, as I showed you here, we have the uh, the futon couch, the, the RV couch. Over here we have a cabinet. Um, we got this repurposed uh, bookshelf that we found in a junk hauler. We stripped it all down and repainted it. It's pretty nice. Um, you can see these cabinets that I made. Um, I think we're going to paint the insides of these white. Um, probably should have done that before I installed them, but uh, it's a really cool finish. If you guys are down at Baker Creek, seed festival um this weekend um just just ask us we'll give you a tour of the bus and we'll let you check out these cool cabinets um the, the framing of this cabinets is actually um a galvalum or a galvanized steel um i went down to my friend's metal shop and uh we just made all that and i welded them right to the bus we went to menards bought some cabinet doors and it worked out excellent and um, we replaced all the lights well that's how you turn that on the old american love tap we replaced all the lights with LED bulbs. Um, they're super efficient. The the old bulbs that were in there, the incandescent bulbs, um, they drain the battery so fast. And uh, we were sure to get a yellow style light or what you might call a warm light because uh, the, the warmer it is, the more yellow it's gonna be, the cooler the light is, the more white it's gonna be. And I think white light is annoying. And we do have a big LED light bar, a light strip that's under mount on this counter here. Um, and unfortunately, it is a white bar, and it, it looks like a science room up in here whenever we light it up. So, um, we got the sink installed tonight. Um, this is a repurposed sink that uh, was actually in a... Well, it was actually in these cabinets right here, because all these cabinets were uh, repurposed as well. And we just ripped the face off of that whole countertop. And uh, so, I built a, a framing structure out of two by fours. Um, if you look under here, you can kind of see that I divided it up with um, a piece of half inch plywood. All our water lines are ran and you can see that 
Um, we made a little video on Henry helping us hook all this up. And then, of course, you see down there that it all exits. And that's all inch and a half PVC pipe. And it's just drain pipe. And then, of course, we were running a half inch PEX line um, for the hot and cold. And we're also making um, window ledges. Um, I'm sure there's a technical term. And if anybody knows woodworking, you probably know what this is called. But haven't installed that yet. I'm actually wanting to tint the windows in here first before I do any more permanent woodworking. We also got the stove installed today. Um, this is a stove that we picked up off eBay brand new. Um, the, the seller had been selling quite a bit of them, so we, we thought that to be trustworthy. The reviews looked really good. And it's not... Um, it's not a count or a, a camp stove and we originally had bought a, a camp stove and I just didn't really trust the valves this thing is actually made for your house and uh, it is it the cool thing about it is a lot of times um, the, what you're gonna get is is a natural gas and then you'll have to convert it to propane one thing that really intrigued me about this or drew me in was it came with the jets um, just switch out the jets for um, it comes for natural gas, but then you switch out the jets for propane um, That was really easy. So I did that tonight We hooked it up to the gas for the first time and the gas is on so let me show you how it works Oh, well, we don't have it plugged in so let me plug it in really quick And you don't have to have it plugged in um, to ignite it you just have to use a lighter, but it does have thermocoupler protection, so that way, uh, meaning that, say, the wind came in and blew that uh, flame out, it's not going to just keep uh, roaring out raw gas. Um, it actually will shut that, that fire off. So. so it does have electronic ignition. You just you know, push down. Pretty cool, so... Really pleased with that. And actually I couldn't get it to work at first, but I didn't realize that you, oh, I just unplugged it. But I didn't realize <laughs> you had to push down on it to, to get it to fire. And of course the gas wasn't coming out either because of the thermocoupler protection. Um, but anyway, got it to work. Um, I should have read the instructions, but I'm a man and who does that, right? So um, we've got here a little space for a toaster oven. Uh, we. We bought a bigger one and it just barely fits in there, but the bad part about that is the directions. Um, I just stumbled across the directions and ended up reading them. And it said that you needed such and such space um, on each side, which, you know, I don't remember what it said, but it was uh, not enough room on this. So I thought, well, probably ought to listen to those directions because honestly, it was like six inches all the way around it and wasn't going to happen there. And I thought, well, we don't need to burn the bus down. Um, step on back here. Here's Henry's little bed. Um, Henry's not that tall yet, so this is actually four foot by probably two and a half foot. Made a little mattress for him, and um, he's got his own light switch in here with a little light bar. If you look up here, this is acting right now as our uh, collect all, but this is going to be for uh, clothes, storage, stuff like that. On this side, you can see the drawers the dresser that I recessed in the wall and I actually stripped the whole thing down then we put a gel stain over it and uh, then I, I sanded all that gel stain down in places to make it look distressed and then we put a polyurethane coat over it and the, we looked everywhere for new hardware the hardware on this thing this is really old and so the hardware was a really odd size couldn't find new hardware anywhere and I thought well why do we even need new hardware so I took this to our buff, to a buffing wheel at my shop polished out all the original hardware and it turned out super cool. Um, the bathroom isn't quite finished yet. Um, I still have to put this panel in right here, but the shower, you know, it's there. We've got those raw copper pipes. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, composting toilet over here on this side. It's going to be, um, you know, we've got like a three and a half gallon bucket, four gallon bucket that we're using in there. And that opens up easily take the, the bucket out and no it's not just gonna be a hole we do have a we do have a nice lid for it and towel storage and other bathroom goodies go up there uh, right here this is gonna be our bed um, you see we've got a light switch in here 
and this is all going to these lights here are all for the 110 um, hookup and everything else that's in the bus is 12 volts but down here if you look we've got the uh, the panel for the shore power I guess you would call it and that uh, we actually have 240 I think it's called going into it so I've got to finish up the water lines we do have um, you know if we're if we have a place for full hookups you know we do have the availability to hook a hose right into the side of the bus so we don't have to use our onboard storage tank but like I said originally this was going to be as a camper so we have a 65 gallon onboard uh, water holding tank for fresh water and then a high flow high pressure pump that runs everything else if you look back here we have a on-demand water heater um, commonly called a hot water heater but it is not a hot water heater because you do not have to heat hot water so it is uh, it is our water heater and like I said it's an on-demand water heater and we got a pretty good one this is it's propane run um, my original plan was not to put two 220 volts or 240 volts in the bus it was just going to be 110 and all the 110 buses or 110 water heaters um, they didn't have good reviews uh, they, they didn't seem like they could keep up and so I thought well let's get a propane one we ended up did putting some uh, you know the higher voltage um, electricity in here but either way we went the propane and uh, it's properly vented and we just have to finish up the three quarter inch PEX line going to that so I think that's about it and then of course we've got to put finish putting the bed back together um, after the water, uh, after all the plumbing's finished, and then uh, then we're gonna go to town and get the license on this thing. Man, I hope I don't get any taller. So, anyway, thanks for checking out our bus. Do know, um, let's see, May fifth and sixth. I think it's sixth and seventh. May sixth and seventh, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Actually, when we're gonna be there, <laughs> we're gonna go down uh, probably on Friday night, stay Friday night, be there all day Saturday. But the the spring planning festival at Baker Creek isn't going to be until Monday or Sunday and Monday and uh and we went last year it was really cool uh, we met a lot of uh, cool people uh Doug and Stacy were there Ozark family off grid uh was there last year and I think that was it for the only other YouTubers we met but I heard through the grapevine there's going to be like 30 other YouTube channels there um we know that our friends here in Missouri are going to be there uh, Jake and Becky and their their kids from White House on the Hill who else is going to be there? Oh, we heard John Kohler from GrowingYourGreens.com is going to be there. That's really cool. That guy is he's crazy. You should check <laughs> his channel out. So anyway, hey, I'm rambling. I wanted to say thank you guys for, for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little schoolie tour. And uh, we're busting butt on it right now. And so we could take it down probably about three and a half hours away from here where we live. And uh, it'll be its first official outing. So thank you guys, and we will see you on the next video.